Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Ignite Kids Does Sunday. Today, we're thinking about a very special lady. Her name was Ruth, and she was a really good friend. So let's go and learn and have some fun. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Ignite Kids Does Sunday. I hope you are having a wonderful summer. I tell you what, Greg and I and the rest of the Ignite team, we had a great time last Wednesday. And if you were there, uh, thank you for coming. Uh, I'm really sorry, but that's it for our summer fun now. So um, next week, you can just have a nice rest before you go back to school. Yeah, I can't believe it. We are already going back to school in just over a week's time. Now today, we are thinking about a very, very special lady in the Old Testament, and her name was Ruth, and she was a very, very special friend. So we're going to be thinking about friendship quite a lot today. Uh, But as always, before we do all of the other stuff, we're going to start off with the song, so we need to warm up. Okay, so let's, let's have a bit of a wiggle. Wiggle your right arm, wiggle your left arm. Wiggle both your arms. Here we go. Ready? Here's the song.
Limelech and Naomi lived in Israel with their two sons. But one year there was a really bad famine. It hadn't rained for absolutely ages. And there was a famine. There was no food anywhere. So what they decided to do was, let's travel a little way across the border into Moab. Because you've heard there's loads of food. So that's what they did. And their two sons grew up there and they married two girls from Moab. One married Ruth and one married Orpah. But it wasn't long before Elimelech, the dad, died. That was sad. But it got worse because his two sons also died. That left Naomi, the widow, and her two daughters-in-law, Ruth and Orpah, also widows. Now then, uh, well, Naomi thought, I'm going to go back to Israel because we have a plot of land there. Um, but I'll go back anyway. But girls, you should stay here in Moab because you're young and you're beautiful girls. You'll be able to find husbands to marry from your own people. But the Ruth said, no, 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 no. I'm going to go with you. And Naomi said, no, you should stay here. No, said Ruth, where you go, I go. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. So Ruth went back to Israel with Naomi. Well, they had no food. The land, which belonged to Naomi's family, there was nothing growing on it just yet. They had nothing. So Naomi said to Ruth, tell you what, you go off into the, the fields of wheat and see if you can glean. That meant picking up bits that the harvest has left behind. I'll show you. See, the harvest has been, and, uh, well, poor people were allowed to pick up the bits of wheat that were left that hadn't been collected into the bundles. And they could take these home and pull off all these little ears of corn. And with them, they could make some flour and make some bread and maybe sell anything extra. And that's what Ruth did. But the man who owned the field, whose name was Boa, said, Ooh, she's nice. Who is she? We, we haven't seen her around here before. And he said to his men, find out who she is and let me know. And they came back and said, well, actually, she's a daughter-in-law of Naomi, the widow of Elimelech. They used to live here and they went away and they've come back now. Hmm. Well, at the end of that story, Boaz had said to his men, look, just leave a little bit extra behind uh, so that uh, Ruth can have a lot more to pick up. I have an idea that I would like to marry her. And before long, that's exactly what happened. Ruth and Boaz married. Now, Ruth was from Moab, not from Israel, but yet Ruth, who was not from Israel, is mentioned in Jesus' family tree. That's how important she became. And also, she became the great-grandmother of one of the most famous people in the Bible. He became the greatest king, King David. But more of that story in a few weeks' time. Thanks, Trev, for an amazing story. The story of Ruth, who was the best friend anybody could ask for. Are you a really good friend? Do you have a really good friend? Are you always caring for one another? It doesn't necessarily have to even be your friend. You know, Jesus actually says in the Bible that we should love our enemies. Now, that doesn't mean that we should go around hugging people that we don't know. But it does mean that if there's a problem that somebody has with us, we should try and sort that problem out. Maybe you've got a problem with somebody right now. It might not necessarily mean that you have to go up to them. You might be a bit nervous of that. But you can be praying for them. You can say, God, will you help that person and help me to be friends again? You know, we've only got one week left of our summer holidays. So if you've fallen out with one of your friends, see if you can try to fall back in with them before you go back to school. And if you can't because you are struggling, because you're feeling a little bit nervous about it, 
don't worry. I've got the solution for you. And all you have to do is say, Jesus, will you help me to be brave? So I'm going to pray about that right now. So let's pray uh, that Jesus will help us to be brave enough to solve any friendship problems that we have. So let's pray. Lord God, we thank you that you love everybody. And I pray for all the boys and girls right now that if they have a problem with somebody or if somebody has a problem with them, that they would forgive one another. I pray, Lord God, that you will help them to be brave enough to start talking to one another again. And if they can't do that at the minute, I pray, Lord God, that you will help them to pray about that situation. God, I pray that you'll help us to all be really, really good friends. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, you know what time it is. Reds versus Blues. Okay, hi everybody. It's that time of the week again. It's Reds versus blues and once again Robin is playing for the Reds. Now last week it was very exciting if you remember uh, Robin won and so that now means that we are 18 points apiece. It hasn't been like this for quite a few weeks. Uh, so Reds you're doing really really well. Blues? Eh, not so well. Okay and I'm not expecting to do very well this morning so I'm going to apologise right now Blues before we start. Uh, so today's game is uh, ping pong balls into caps. Now you will say to yourself, Jen, we have done this before. Well, no, we haven't because I've got literally hundreds of uh, cup games. So if you're bored with them, buckle down. We've got a few <laughs> more months first. Okay, so uh, this time you are only using one hand. You put two ping pong balls in one hand. You bounce them at the same time and they go into the caps. Now it only counts if both balls go into both caps at the same time. I am very strict with this rule because if you bounce one in and then bounce another one in, it's not correct. So Robin, they both have to go in at the same time. That's so tricky. Now, I think we will possibly have to time this one again because, mind you saying that, who knows? We might actually do it in one. I very much doubt it. Let's have a go. Okay, so here we go with a minute on the clock. Two balls at the same time in 12 cups. In one hand. In one hand. Oof, okay. Are you ready? I think so. Me too. Ready, steady, go. Oh, you went into the same cup, does that count? No. Ah! I'm we did it, Reds! It. We did it. So that means Reds are in the lead again. 19 points to 18. Have a go. It is really, really tricky. It is tricky. It was. I had a practice and couldn't do it. There you go. So have a go and we'll see you next week. Bye! Okay, everybody, that's nearly it from us for today. I hope you've enjoyed all that we've got done. Do you know what? I can't believe it, Blues. I'm losing. A few weeks ago, I was ahead. And now I'm losing that Robin. She's tricky. She's really good at the cup games. I'll have to up my, I'll have to up my game to see if I can beat her next week. Uh, okay, so I've got a few little announcements. Okay, are you ready? Ooh, here we go. 
Next Sunday, we are opening up Ignite Sunday uh, in the morning. So mums and dads, uh, when you get to church, you just drop your children off with us uh, at half past ten, and then you guys can go into the service, and then we uh, will uh, drop them off in the car park for you at the end of the service. Uh, Boys and girls, we're going to have lots and lots of fun being back in the building. You'll still get to do all the stuff that you've been doing, and guess what? Reds versus blues, you'll be able to do it in the building in with us so uh, come next week please 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 come next week and let's have some fun in the building in the upper hall uh, that's for all the primary school children okay uh, so that's from next Sunday the 5th of September really really exciting now Ignite Extra is for our, is starting the following Friday okay now we're going to continue with the booking just for now mums and dads so here's the booking uh, for Ignite Extra. Here's the QR code for Ignite Extra. It's just for this term until we can see where we are with it. Okay, so that's Ignite Extra. And Ignite Life Group, you're going to be starting on the 13th of September. Now you'll be saying, well, Jen, that's not a Sunday. That's because we are starting back up in our old um, way on the Monday evening. So we will see you on the 13th of September. So Ignite Extra. 10th of September, Ignite Life Group, 13th of September. I can't believe it. We're all getting back to normal, hopefully. So uh, that's it from me. I'm going to now pray. So are you ready? Let's wiggle those fingers. Ready? One, two, three. Three, Lord God, we thank you for all the fun that we've had this morning. We thank you, Lord God, that we've learned that Ruth was a really, really good friend to Naomi and help us to be good friends to our friends too. And God, I pray that the boys and girls and mums and dads would have a lovely last week of holidays and that they would all be excited to come back and have some fun in church next Sunday. God bless them all, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Don't forget Ignite Extra on the 10th, Ignite Life Group on the 13th. And uh, yeah, you've got a book on for extra. So we'll see you next Sunday. And don't forget, we're still going to be doing the videos as well. So you won't miss out. See you then. Bye.